In this video, I will demonstrate a technique for showing variability using stacked bar charts. This eliminates the use of whiskers and other sorts of accoutrements, but allows you to show a mean score for a group, but also to show the variability, in this case, uh, using confidence intervals. So we can focus on one or two bars, but we can also show how much the actual measurements may, may truly vary using the confidence interval. So how we set this up really begins within our, our data file and our data table. So what you can see here is a list of data for five different manufacturing teams. And the first column, what we can see is the mean percentage or frequency, in this case, of mistakes made by each team. So each team has a frequency percentage of mistakes made in the manufacturing process. The column over to the right is the actual upper confidence interval value for each of those teams. And then the middle column that's labeled gray is the difference between these two values. So the difference between the, the mean score for team one and its upper confidence interval value gets us 2% in this center column. So this is how we're going to actually demonstrate the size or the amount of variability of that confidence interval within our, our bar chart. So it gives, again, a, a visual idea of the how large that uh, confidence interval span might actually be above the mean value. So we get a sense of how large the variability might be and therefore how precise the estimate might be of the mean. So to create this chart, what we want to do is highlight and select the, the team labels, the actual performance values that we're interested in, the mean scores, and then the confidence interval difference column, which is the second column in labeled gray. Okay, and then we're going to go to the insert menu, and we're going to insert a bar chart, and we're going to use a stacked bar chart. So we're going to choose the one in the center here because this does not force you to add up to 100%. If we chose the one to the right, it would force uh, uh, the, the bars to, to match up to 100%. We don't want that. We want to show the actual values. So we're going to choose this, this center option, the 3D stacked column. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to highlight our confidence interval chunks we want to highlight those confidence interval chunks by clicking on them and they'll all be uh, indicated as being selected. And then what we're going to want to do is change the color of each of these sections to gray. So in order to do that we can right click over one of the sections and we can find the fill color and actually change that to a gray. So I'll change it to a light gray. The next thing we want to do is add the data, add data labels to these gray chunks and we want to put them on the outside end. So we can go to chart, add chart element in the design menu here and we're going to choose data labels and for now we can go ahead and choose inside end and then what we're going to actually have to do is move them to the outside end. So we can highlight each one, move it to the outside end like so. Now you'll notice that these are the values in that difference column that we labeled gray here in our, our data table and that's not the actual upper confidence interval values. Well we're going to go ahead and fix that um, here in one second. So what we're going to do is uh, right click on the data label and we're going to go to format data label and we're going to unclick going to unclick value and unclick show leader lines and instead we're going to choose value from cells so click on that and then we're going to highlight the actual upper CI upper confidence interval values within that column and then click OK and now we've got our actual confidence interval values uh, placed in the proper place. Now what we also want to do is we can change the color the color of our, our values here. 
uh, conference numerals to be the same color as the, the chunk that it represents. So I'm going to go ahead and click on text options and then I can choose color and I'm going to change it to that same gray color that the actual chunks are. Okay, so now we have some color coordination there. Now if you don't have the option to select value from cells, then we can just insert text boxes and type in your upper confidence interval data values um, as well. So that's another way to, to get that uh, in place. Now another thing we can do here is go ahead and use text boxes to kind of type in a, a legend or a key so people can understand what these gray chunks mean relative to the blue chunks. So what I want to first do is, is I want to get rid of this legend here at the body. So I highlight it and then uh, press my delete button, get rid of that. And then we also don't need this uh, y-axis because we're going to actually put data labels to show the mean value on each of the blue chunks. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that uh, axis and then click the delete button and get that out of the way. Now what I can do is insert a text box that acts as my key for what the gray means and what the blue means. So in order to do that, I go ahead to the insert menu and go to text box. And then I'm going to go ahead and insert a text box over here on the right hand, left hand side. And then I'm going to go ahead and, and type in my, my legend to, to indicate what the gray boxes mean. So as you can see, I've, I've went ahead and added those text boxes to act as a key for my upper confidence interval as well as my base. And I want to color code them, those those words to the colors that my chunks are going to be. Now the next thing we want to do is add data labels to the inside end of the base bars that are going to represent the, the group means for each of the teams. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on the bars and I'm going to go ahead and select add data labels. And what we see is we have them um, in the center there uh, and we can play around with that and move that around a little bit so it's maybe a little closer to the top. So in order to move them to the top, what we want to do is right click on them, select format data labels, and then page down here and go to inside end and it will move them up towards the top. Now the next thing I want to do is change the color of the text in those boxes, the actual group values. Um, so I click on my text options um, label there and then I'm going to change the color to white. So I want those values to contrast really well with the color of my uh, chunks here. And I'm going to go ahead and, and change the color of each of those chunks so that they are a little bit darker and a little bit bolder. So I'm going to choose uh, more of a darker blue so they contrast a little better with the gray. Now in this case you might have a situation in which there is one of the bars of these you, you particularly want to highlight and maybe it's the team that had the highest uh, air rate or the highest air frequency um, so that we can make some kind of a comparison and, and, and create a little bit more visual impact and, and point out that that's a value that's important. So in this case, we're, we want to highlight Team 4 because they have the highest mean error rate. So I want to double click on that so it's the only uh, section highlighted. And then I go ahead to my, my paint can here and I can change the fill color. Now I, can, I want to use the same color of blue, but maybe I want to go a couple shades lighter so that it stands out. Now what we can see here then is we have uh, each of the groups represented as far as their, their group mean, as far as the number of errors. And then we have the upper confidence interval for each of these groups. So depending on what you want to highlight, you can then make your chart title be a summary statement for what's happening within your chart. So for example, we might make our chart title something along the lines of analysis shows that team four had the highest error rate and then maybe a sub of oh, 15% and then maybe a subtitle might be the gray segment segments indicate that the base scores of several groups might actually be higher 
suggesting that the error rate might be higher for some of the other groups as well. So maybe 10% is your cutoff uh, level to say that's an excessive amount of errors. Well, if you look at the confidence intervals, you can see that team one and team two, as well as team three, might actually either have exceeded, could potentially have exceeded, or might actually be pushing that, that error level that's unacceptable as well. So we could, we could make all that be part of our chart title. So as you can see here, I've added a chart title that allows me to kind of summarize the main point that I want my reader to get from this chart. And again, I've color-coded uh, the text in the chart title, title to the color codes in the, the actual chart itself. So the base scores uh, or the comment about the base scores is in blue text. The comment about the gray scores, the confidence intervals, is in gray text. So it allows, again, my reader to be able to instantly make that connection between what my title is saying and what's going on within the chart itself. So hopefully you found this technique useful and good luck using it in your own presentation.